Hi, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop, and we've got For the Love of Dragons in this video. So for those of you that are dragon lovers, then um, this won't disappoint, I promise. Okay, so it's from US Games. It's a magnetic clip box. I've obviously taken everything out. Look at those beautiful little dragons. Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend? Never met a dragon. 44 cards. Um, the Power of Fire and Flight and the Special Collectors. So it's a collector's deck and book set. Okay. And then you have the, the book, sizable book. Full colour. Really lovely. I love how they've done these as well. So all the, basically each of the dragons... There's a card, every card is, has a dragon on it. It's got this tail that goes through, various tails that go through it as well. So that's the deck. And then inside it's got a little piece in here. So she's done a beautiful poem here. Shall I read it to you? She doesn't need a knight to save her. She needs a wild vine, castle lost to civilization, and a forest full of creature folk who know her secrets and share their own. She needs a library with red velvet couches and lanterns lit by fireflies. Stories older than time that taste like myth and smell of danger and lost lullabies. She doesn't need a golden boy to defend her honour or a chariot to carry her away. She needs a night-blooming garden with forgotten name flowers and herbs that still remember the moon's first name. She needs an untamed labyrinth with a hidden door in its centre leading to lost passages of honeycomb poems and wild pollen candlelight. She needs a window seat next to twilight where she can read and write and muse and watch the storm giant stalk the glimmer glass hills. She doesn't need your rescue or salvation. She needs an ancient silver sword, a collection of fallen bird feathers from foreign lands, a passport for soul travel, a hip flask full of whiskey and wonder, a mermaid tavern in a midnight circus tent, thigh-high boots and limited Wi-Fi, Smear-proof lipstick, the coffee-stained pages of her own fairy tale, and a pet dragon named Always, Angie Sullins. Oh, that was lovely. So just an introduction there and how to use the deck. So let's have a look at the cards. They are silver gilded, no, sorry, purple gilded. Like a pinky pill bit. I don't know what you would call it really. It's not pink. It's like... um. I don't know what you would say. The word it evades me. Lilac? No, it's a bit deeper than lilac. Should we say purple? We'll settle on purple. And we have um, the bag to go with it. So US Games have just started putting bags in with their Oracle decks, which is very handy. Um, so then you have the dragons on the back here that got the key. So let's go and have a look. It's a high gloss deck. Um, size wise very easy to very easy to move um, glide through it's, it's a very easy deck to use actually very maneuverable flexible card quality high gloss so I'm going to pop it over this side because you won't be able to see the images otherwise because I've got the cameras on overhead should we try that again <laughs> let's go number one the balancer The dragon sword. The watcher. Oh, there's a little owl. <laughs> On the dragon's head. Babies. The fledgling. The grouch. Wild child. Curious. <laughs> The storyteller, the tempestress. Oh, look at this! Beautiful moon dancer, the receiver. God, you, can you see the blue of this? It's like a sapphire blue. And then you have like a muted, um, like a violet. The fountain. Oh. 
I'm going to do something, I mean, I'm going to do a random pick a card and then see how that, how you'd use it. Shadow. Oh, I like this one, the Wishmaker. You can always meditate with these cards, you know, with Oracle cards. You can pick one every day, take a picture of it on your phone and go, right, what have you got to show me for today and see if, what happens during the day and how it relates to the card. Helps you get to know the deck and helps you get in tune with it. And then you can, um, the key holder, that's what the dragons are, you see the key holders. The adventurer. You won't be able to hear it, but there's a horrendous storm overhead. We've had thunder and now there's hail. You shouldn't be able to hear it because I've switched to noise reduction thing on the video. So you can't hear my dog snoring in the background. The relaxer, the healer. Oh, look at this. This is very in tune with the healing energy. So the colors are perfect as well. So then we've got the cards. So I would do, for example, right, okay, let's just give them a quick shuffle. Oops. You know that if you if you have the jumpers that you use those, but we're not going to do it. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go, okay, can you give me a card for the day, please? And then I always cut and complete the sovereign. So let me see what the sovereign says in the book. So then you would just have a look in the book to see what the sovereign, so you can see them at work. Uh, I so jumped ahead there because I thought they were in alpha. Fifteen. Right, get your act together, Maria. Right, okay, fifteen. Dragons have an innate comprehension of integrity, solitude, and sovereignty. You'll never meet a dragon that doesn't understand it is inherently worthy. Take a page from their book today. You have the right to want what you want. Love who you want, go where you want, say yes to whatever you want, and no to what you don't want. You have the right to be mistress of your own power and director of your own experience. Follow your bliss, answer first and foremost to your innermost self along that path. So you see how to use them. Brilliant. And I would do one a day. If you love dragons, like I said, you're not going to be disappointed with this deck. It's got a great energy about it and the colours are stunning. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for your time.